Today we're taking a look at the Lamax 2. Hey guys, Stephen Hall here with 9to5Google and uh, today we're talking about an event that uh, I attended this past week in Beijing, China, uh, being held by Chinese company Leiko. The company announced uh, three new phones, um, uh, the next generation of its super TV series, the X4, a VR headset, and an all-electric concept car called the Le C. Of the three phones that Leiko announced, including the low-end Le 2, slightly higher-end Le 2 Pro with just slightly better specs, and the highest-end Le Max 2, I would definitely say the Le Max is the uh, most interesting for those of us in the United States as it is the most comparable to the flagships from Samsung, LG, and other companies. Compared to the other phones on the market, there are two things that stick out to me um, about this device. The first of those is that this phone kind of beats Apple to the punch with removing the headphone jack, which in my opinion doesn't really make uh, much sense considering this device is definitely thick enough for a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, but also, it's, it's a hassle to have to um, use USB-C accessories. Um, of course, you have the option of using Bluetooth con to connect your headphones, um, but I don't know if this is the decision that I can, I can get behind. The other interesting thing about this phone is that there's a variant um, with 6 gigs of RAM, uh, which may seem like a lot, um, perhaps the most RAM that we've ever seen in a flagship smartphone, um, but it actually makes sense considering the live, uh, live streaming video features that Leiko is pushing to the forefront of the experience with this device. As for other specs, you'll find a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 pixel Quad HD display at 538 pixels per inch, a 2.15 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 820, obviously 64 bit um, with an Adreno 530 GPU, there are a few configurations of the device, one of which with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, and then two different uh, configurations with 64 gigs of storage, one with 4 gigs of RAM and the other with 6 gigs of RAM. Of course, the phone ships with Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Leiko's EUI 5.8. Uh, there's dual SIM support. The rear camera comes in at 21 megapixels with uh, dual-tone LED flash. Sony IMX230 sensor and an f2.0 aperture, and the front camera is an 8 megapixel shooter. Of course, the phone has support for 4G LTE, Wi Fi 802.11ac, um, Bluetooth 2.0, GPS, and of course, as you can see, the phone has USB Type C. And all of this is powered by a 3000 mAh battery with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. We don't know about United States availability yet, but the phone is priced at RMB $2099 in China, which is about the equivalent of $324 US dollars. If you want to read more about these phones and Leiko's other announcements, you can do so over at electrek.co and 9to5google.com. But for now, that's all I have for you. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been Stephen Hall with 9to5google, and we'll see you in the next one.